So, Professor Gadi, we would like to know uh, a few examples of students who have contributed to the uh, social service scheme or to social service in general. If you could uh, give us a few examples on that. I'll give you different degrees of examples, you know. First, I would like to mention the example of Shailesh Gandhi. He's well known for the Right to Information Act. It's a beautiful, it's a wonderful contribution to the society, actually. You know, and it's a very innovative contribution in the sense that he's been, you know, he's been active in bringing this to reality, to fruition. And it's made a tremendous difference to the way the country works, right? You know, one thing that IITs are gifted with, and there's no doubt on that one, is unusual intelligence, unusual innovation, the ability to see things differently. And when they channel it in the right direction, they can do wonderful things. And if they do wonderful things for society, they are really wonderful. They stand out. Now, all of us know also the way a lot of the alumni of the institution have contributed to the building of this institution in the recent years. That's also an example of social service. After all, people who rise in their own careers and who have attained a certain level of respect and a certain status in the financial and the you know, social sense, when they make a contribution, when they come back to the institution and when they contribute to its welfare and growth, it's a very good example of social service. Like, I mean, there are so many examples in the institute right now. We've heard of Nandan Nilekani, we've heard of Kanwal Reiki, and we've heard of Narayan Murthy. I mean, I'm, these are a few and Those are, you know, at a very large and you know, big scale. But you know, let me tell you, I'll give you a very interesting example that I came across in the last few years when I was the NSS coordinator a few years ago. I remember there was a former student, a young student who had just graduated a year or two before that, who came to me one day and he told me that you know, he was very keen to start something, start a group on the electronic mail or email, and, you know, which could think of something that could be done in the social realm. Now, you know, he wanted to start big. He wanted it to be a big thing. And the one thing that we talked about when we met the first time was, well, you know, there are a lot of people who talk. There are a lot of people who say wonderful things about doing things for others and, you know, contributing to society and so on. Normally, it is the smallest deeds from which a, a garden grows, you know. The smallest deeds form a seed and around that a garden grows. I suggested to him that, you know, he take up one or two clear but concrete but definite small activities that would go in the direction of social service with a small group and let it grow from there organically or naturally without trying to form an organization first and trying to you know, put structures first, right? Well, he was he also thought along the same lines, he did that. And believe me, I this he called it Pankurti, this you know, this whole setup. And you know, believe me, I was amazed. I myself didn't believe that after a year these people had Representatives, these people had friends almost in different, you know, almost all over the country, maybe in about 10 different cities, all doing their own thing and coming together in a very synergistic way. All this happened within the course of one year because they started with something concrete. You know, I think one thing which I do feel about IIT students is, you know, normally they're not very impressed with, uh, you know, bombastic talks. For example, you know, you may talk a lot about wonderful things and wonderful things that can be done, might be done, should be done. But what really impresses IIT students, I think, is seeing something actually being done. You know? And I think that happened in this case. You know, when he saw the effect of, he went to, he, he and some of his friends initially went to a few orphanages. Uh, so, you see, these visits to the works they did the orphanages really opened their hearts and from there things grew to dimension which I could not myself believe. Of course, I think all of us are also familiar with the kind of uh, understanding that is currently there between the National Service Scheme and the NGO Vidya on the campus. There are a lot of construct and you know it's really wonderful how several students have been quietly working in these joint activities, education, uh, literacy activities and other associated activities of the MOU, the Memorandum of Understanding between Vidya and the National Service Scheme. So you see there are a lot of things going on on campus very silently and I'm, what I'm trying to show you is that you don't have to go very far you know, to do these things. But these are two examples that I see right here in the 
associations between NSS Vidya and the activities that the students take part in there while as students, right? And this was an example I gave you of Pankuti, the organization which grew out of the vision of one young boy, you know, maybe a year or so after he graduated. I'm sure there are many such examples. It's something that I came directly across, but I, you know, I'm sure ask 10 people, you'll find 10 different examples of this. If you ask me, I think all IIT students generally and genuinely want to do something constructive and positive for the larger cause. Then deeper and I'm sure you'll find that, right? It's only, a, you know, all that is needed really is to give it a chance to fruition and allow diversity and variety there. Different people have different talents. If you look at it carefully, our talents blossom when they are for others, right? For example, if we are good at music, you, you really are good at music if others can enjoy it. You know, if you are a, a good actor or actress, then you are really a good actor or an actress when you can, you know, help somebody else see the potential in your drama. You are really a wonderful researcher if other people can also benefit and see insights, you know, gain insights from what you do. So in a certain sense, the talents that we have, the virtues that we have, manifest themselves best when they are manifested in front of others. If we only think of this point, then, you know, many of the other things follow and they follow with diversity and variety. Those were some insightful examples of how IITNs have contributed uh, to social service. Uh, now we'd like to uh, have uh, hear a few concluding remarks from Professor Gagle. You know, there is one thought that I wanted to share with you, which I have been concerned about over the last many years actually, at least the last few years. You, we know that there are a lot of stresses in student life or in campus life. You know, there are divisions among people, there are stresses because each person is worried about his or her future in some sense, worried about his or her failures and the need to retain successes. One thought that I wanted to share with you, this but a very important thought, is that the main cause of depression is when we focus on ourselves. And the easiest way to get out of depression is to do something for another person. I, this requires just a few minutes of reflection to understand. When we get depressed, and it, the sure short way of getting depressed is to focus on yourself. And the sure short way of getting out of depression is to think of what you can do. Just step out and see what you can do for another person. If you can bring a smile to another face, a smile will come to your face. Right? My feeling is it's very important that we think about this maxim very deeply, particularly in wake of you know the unfortunate things that have been happening in the last few years in the student community where students you know take extreme steps. You know, I have a feeling that one of the ways out of students getting into stresses, tension, distortions of perception is to see what you can do for the larger cause. Half the problems will go away there. You would like to thank Professor Gagre for uh, spending his valuable time with us. I am very grateful to the Insight team for inviting me. This is something that I would always like to communicate to a larger group of students and I hope this goes across to as many students as I would like it to.